Good morning, afternoon, good evening, good night, world. This is the man from Buzzwack, better known as Bakawal, Chapani, the Badass. And this is my chronicle. Um, on a broad walk here in somewhere in Canary Wharf doing my thing. I want you to have a good look. Like I said yesterday in my walk about I'm not confined only to my front room. So here I am again doing my thing. Now, I normally don't engage in the comment section outside of, you know, my big up and respect to who respect you. But I notice there is a few comment that I have to actually address. Now, someone tell me they would have been, they would find my program more interested if I would speak more about other things outside of Bakawal and Chocomolan. Um, I find that interesting. First of all, I didn't ask you to follow me, to like me, or anything. My channel is my channel and I speak about what I choose to speak about. Now, the fact that you have a problem with me speaking about my origin, I don't know you, you don't know me, and the issue is I'm speaking about my culture and the origin of my culture. Now, why me speaking about Bakawal becomes such an issue to you? That tells me a lot about you. Because it tells me what I need to know. And that you are not of us, but you are one of them. And as such, you all want to tell my story. You want to tell my story culturally, you want to tell it musically, you want to tell it physically. You want to just tell my story. But I'm here to tell you that the narrative of change, techn technology, of change everything. Now we are able to tell our own story in our own words how it relates to us. Gone are the days when we have to depend on BBC and every other C and CNN and ABC and all the other alphabet. Today, we can get up and we can stand up and we can tell our own story. So, get with the program. Like I said, 
this is not a personal attack on anyone particular and um, I care zero but the fact of the matter is when I came into this country um, the other dude name was Tony Martin respect sir um, but even though you were the black dude on a Sunday, I had no time to listen to you or David Radigan. Just didn't, couldn't find the time. Because the, at the end of the day, like I said, not only Radigan was a funny talking dude, but you, Tony Martin, was also a funny talking dude. And me being, you know, I'm keeping it real. Me being fresh from Jamaica, I had no years to listen to dudes like yourself. And it's nothing personal, it's not like, it's not like I'm 18 and you guys. Yeah. With Shaka again, it's a different thing because I told you how I felt about Shaka going into um, that basement for the first time, hearing that bass line, seeing the people them jumping up and all that stuff. It was just something that, I mean, back then, told you that I came to this country with X amount of Emperor Fate tape X amount of arrows tape, X amount of Jalove tape, X amount of Tipitone tape, X amount of Tobit's tape. As a matter of fact, my selection was wide. Every man used to come to me to come learn lyrics. Yeah, because back in them time, for example, Dread sit on every day and listen to my um, stereograph with um, with Rankin Joe. And the next sound that I bought here, that sound is so unique today that if you find one of them tape today, it's like finding gold. Um, Ecotone. Yeah, Echo Tone. I bought a cup of Echo Tone with Echo, General Echo and Mumma Nancy. Because you all just talk about Mumma Nancy and talk about Bam Bam, but Mumma Nancy have several other it that some of the lyrics you might not remember right now. But if you want to hear Mumma Nancy at her, at her best, you have to. You have to um, hear her when she was on the Echo um, teaching because Mumma Nancy used to um, mimic um, General Echo. General Echo is the original of, um, for lack of a better word, slackness. And uh, Mumma Nancy was his student. I remember one time um, a lyrics where Echo said, Take off my pants, me have to put it on back. Take off my shirt, me have to put it on back. Dance from the corner. You know them lyrics there? And Mumma Nancy had talked about take off my front, me have to put it on back. Take off my dress, me have to put it on back. Put in him, cut me, have to take it out back. Dance from the corner. No, them time the echo are the man. You know? I think somewhere in the selection, if I go dig it up, I will find all those states because, like I said, when I came to this country, I came with the cream of the crop, the top of the top. Yeah. Now, Mr. Pulachi want us to speak about Igla's Rest. Igla's Rest is the HQ 
for all leading artists in the 70s. Now, whosoever wasn't an eyeglass dress, then them wasn't about. At the time, people like myself and my team, we run downtown. Like I said, downtown at our place. We govern eyeglass rest. If you're not cool with us, you can't come at eyeglass rest. If you're not cool with us, you can't come Palm Beach Street. I remember one night we done at the producer meeting down at Mirage and Stars at Green Lane at Fat Man. And I remember Lego Beast and um, what this man I name again? Um, Mandingo, catch up. Mandingo was selling himself like him as a part of Beat Street and making a lot of cultural talk. And I remember Lego Beast challenged him. But not only Lego Beast challenged him, I also challenged him because the, the fuck of the matter don't care how Mandingo speak. None of us know him from Beat Street. And we run Beat Street. So if we don't know you from Beat Street, then tough luck. Now, I can make some shout out to some Beat Street man, I'm um, some Beat Street man, Eyeglass West man. Yes, John Dredd, stand firm. Prince Amma, better known as Beris. I, I, the other day I hear you tell you history, you know, and I'm talking to you, Mr. Amas. I hear you talk your history the other day, you know. And it was good to hear you talk your history. But I never hear you speak about when you live on a West Street. Yeah. I never hear the part of the history like you just slip past that. But me know when you live on a West Street, you know. Yeah. Because when you live on a West Street, I you know the art of when things did a kick. Yeah, because you remember the war there between Tel Aviv and Spangler. But you was except, exempt from that war because you were a different kind of youth from your go. Um, that's Beres. Um, the, Riley Ras the Riley brothers of West Street, Buster Riley and Winston Riley. Yeah, original techniques and from the Slim Summit crew and the Unique crew. Um, Jayot, Lego Beast. Dillinger, Clint Eastwood, Boy Boy, Ja Thomas, Ja Wush, the Marwells Brothers, Bingy Bunny, that's Roots Ragged, Radix, Sly and Robbie, Burning Spear, Wheelers, um, Eptone, but Leroy never, never that Beat Street, more Barry and Hurl. Um, Delroy Wilson, Johnny Clark, Fish Clark, to name a few. Greg Isaac with African Museum on the corner, right there at Eyeglass West. My uncle which is the greatest weed man, Johnny. That's my uncle, yeah? Now, Eyeglass West, you have Randy's, Joe Gibbs, Palm Beach Street, you have Observer 90, um, Miss Pattinger, um, Bonnie Lee, Striker Jackpot, um, Prince Buster, Roots International with Pablo them. 
Go get who me left out. You have the little van down a park at the corner there. Who me left out? Me left out anybody? Like me say, some things I will talk about and I will remember vividly. Um, I will get Mr. Pulachi on the wire so he can, me and him can bounce it back and forth now because like I said, sometimes when I'm talking to myself, to the camera, I'm just, things just coming out but not as fluently if I'm talking to someone. Well, I will have to put this now and pause until next time. So stand firm. I will remember to use my right hand and not my left hand to turn the camera on off because you don't need to see what I'm doing. 